<laughs> there I'm taller than everybody. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I think I just um, tell you that I've been one of the members of Children of Shinwalk um, alumni right from the get-go, and I've held all different positions of the uh, of the executive. And um, this morning, I woke up with a gift from this event a gift that was not very nice. I got a real bad cold. So I didn't come this morning, and I didn't. I came this afternoon, and I didn't know till I got here about 1.30 that I would be speaking to you this afternoon. So uh, I'll try to be as brief as possible. I have 15 minutes, and Jay told me He'll shorten up his if I go over my 15 minutes. <laughs> Everybody knows me as the actor, and I don't deny it. I guess the first thing I want to say is um, it's, it's been an honor to be part of this process, in particular the pre-forum. Now, I don't know if previous forum had Previous events had this type of forum that we did on Tuesday. And also, I like to acknowledge the fact that AU recognized the importance of our work, which is grassroots for 40 years, that they gave us an opportunity to talk about our work and our experience over the last 40 years. And we totally appreciate it because what we do as survivors is always survivor driven from the grassroots. So I am very proud of the work that we have done and also to be able to showcase our work at a venue like this to all the presidents of all the institutions. Yesterday, I took um, the time to attend the um, President's Forum at the Lodge. I believe that's where I got my call from. But uh, the President's gave me a call. Anyways, uh, I personally always make a point of talking to people that are in a p position of authority when I'm trying to drive an issue. Because I know they're the people that can make these happen. And uh, in church um, situations, I work a lot with the churches as well. I go for the people that have the purple collars because they're the ones that make things happen. So it's just one of my things that I do, and I know it works for me. I can't say it about, about everybody else. Also, it's... Um, it's so good to see that indigenous studies are being taught in the elementary and secondary and post-secondary institutions. But it's back when, in 1991, we always said as a group, when I say group, I mean Children of Shinwalk Alumni Association, is that we wanted this topic of residential schools to be taught in every level, level of education. Now, 40 years later, we, I'm happy to say that some of it, I see it happening. And I'm fortunate that I am part of the educational um, system, even though I, I'm not a teacher, I don't have a degree in anything, but I'm always invited at home, I live in Ottawa, to talk about the residential school topic, or um, cultural issues and talk to the kids. So that's where I like to be, talking to them, because they the, they're the ones that will drive what we started as survivors. And um, I'll be doing this, I think, until uh, they'll be wheeling me around in a wheelchair, because I'm so passionate about what I do, 
And I've discovered over the years that my survivors over here, that we're all of the same passion. And we're all getting on age, and our job now is to pass on some of these um, ideas and things we would like to see done. And I thank you again for taking the time to listen to me. Thank you.